Let's uh, let's watch some Yu-Gi-Oh ban list reactions. Uh, we'll take a uh, we'll take calamity. That's fine. Okay, what's next? I love seeing this little British freak sad. <laughs> it's not the problem! <laughs> My tier 7 deck, dude. No. <laughs> what am I supposed to end on in BA now? Same I'll as anything. Same as you were last format. A fucking token. <laughs> Just ban closed. Why? Why would you do this? Oh, just errata it. Make it that you can use it on the turn if you hard summon it. Like might the, be time for a rebrand for Nadir. Of, um, with what and what abyss, are we changing? <laughs> what are we changing Farfa to? Can't be Farfa anymore. How about Myra? Her heroic deer. Base minimum 395 eye level. Titan Forge. Please link ahead of the curve. Nizoth. And that's just for Taloc. Mira, it's me. Oh, some asshole already took it. Fuck. Oh man. Uh, okay. Who? What else could we? We we could do Glasgow Yu-Gi-Oh. That might be pretty good. Uh, it could be Nadir. He could just be go as Nadir. Nadir servant. What about Hiruma Red X? That, that's a good one. What about this, the unfunny jokes? All right. So, okay. We're going to watch Simo's and uh, Jesse's and Ruxin's. Do we want to begin with... Let's do Jesse's because I think it'll be the most informative. As we had more pressing matters than reacting to the ban list, but now we're on land. Let's actually take a look. Dad, read off. I knew it. What, it's what's, who I thought uh, it was. What do we got? Okay. Fiendsmith. Okay. Hold on. What section are you reading? Banned? Limited? Semi-limited? Forbidden. Forbidden. Okay. Fiendsmith. What? That's an archetype. Okay, hold on a second. Oh my god, I can't read. Okay. I forgot my dad can't read without his glasses, and he refuses to admit that. So, my brother Gabe will uh, read off the cards instead. What is- We're getting a, a bit of insight into the, uh, the cotton family dynamic here. Hmm. <laughs> I hope everything's going well. It's the forbidden section. Beansmith's Lacrima. Lacrima? Okay, so that's an interesting one. I'm hitting a card immediately off the- fresh off the new set. Makes me think maybe Closed Sky isn't off limits. I'll find out in a second, I guess. <sighs> Can you imagine the world in which they hit Closed Sky? Not to, like, jerk them off some more, but hitting Closed Sky is so, so much better. What this means is Beatrice may not be as big of a problem, but because of Necro Equip, that's also not really true. Um, I think if Necro Equip didn't exist, this would be a lot better of a hit. But this is also kind of just, like, completely stupid if, if, like, if there's no other hits to Beatsmith. He's just so immediately good at this. <clears throat> the thing about Jesse is I will end up coming to a lot of the same conclusions as him eventually. But it's crazy that like frame one, he can perfectly elucidate like the context that this is going to result in. Because natural equip exists. Uh, that being said... This is like also good for. I said this in a tweet or something, but one of the thing. one of the biggest black uh, pills in Yu-Gi-Oh is recognizing that the professional much. players That's really hard. are that much better than everyone else. Yes, calling this card to be banned for a long time. I hate this card. This, this is still it. a bit fresh off the the reprint in in Ready Collection. Like partially, partially why maybe this ban list was late is people wonder that uh, they wanted to give time between the release of. You'd the think he has experience with the meta game with takes like these. Uh, That's what I'm saying. Reprint in the band, but who knows. By the way, I'm super happy because this means decks a lot of gas and engine that rely on monsters can actually play. They have a bunch of monsters like Tear. Just can't play into Appalooza because it's just like a floodgate almost. So happy to see that. Also that guy's happy too. Yeah, exactly. Next. Five, red Dragon. Archfiend King Calamity. Oh, thank God. I and mean, this card wasn't obviously going to be a problem. <laughs> oh, he's like, this shit was legal? Um, yeah, okay. He's laughing because it was a mouthful of a name. It is. But so this means now that the Blue Eyes deck is not going to have the Calamity Lock, which is a toxic thing Woo! in the next few months. Uh, and Centurion doesn't have it, I guess. So this is a step in positive direction. Obviously, any limit can plug it. Wait, the how is Jesse in Cancun? Doesn't he have to Next go to game. Seattle? Beatrice, Lady of the Eternal. Oh, they did hit this. Okay, let's go. I'm sad as a BA fan. This is like one of my favorite cards of all time in this band, but it is overstated as welcome. It is way better than it should be before. A bit weird they even hit Lockheed. I guess they really were concerned about the burn aspect of it. But them hitting this 
uh, as well, beaches as well, does mean that now Fiendsman is going to be a lot more manageable with Appalooza. So they, they took my hits. Now we are going to still be careful of Wave King, High Caesar, and Yama Rage, both being very com powerful combos. This deck can still do. He's. Man. I don't know. Maybe I'm I'm fundamentally uncurious, but I I don't think about decks in this way. I'm not like, oh, but this is what the deck will do if X gets banned. I'm just like, we'll see what happens, and then I'll decide what the deck can do. With Desi Ray, so it's not like this engine is at all dead unless there's more hits. We'll, we'll keep going, I guess. Though, next hit. Limited. Limited section. All right, limited section. So yeah. Wait. Oh no. Snake eyes just weren't hit there. No. Snake eyes is here. Oh Look, god. It is dawning on him. He's like, oh fuck. It's gonna be limits for Snake Eyes. All right. Yeah. Keep on. Okay. Why? Was it banned before? Okay. <laughs> Who cares? Ignore it. Next one. Snake Eyes Ash. Man, come on. <laughs> it's a one in Mashal and it's still the best deck. It's obviously not gonna do. Anything. Yeah. I mean, okay, guys. Like, there's nothing it could be here on the list unless they had Wanted Witch Bonfire all there as well. This deck is still gonna be playable. So like. Doesn't mean anything. God damn it! A snake eye form. Whoa! Snake eyes up. Why? <laughs> Come on, Jesse! Don't, don't cuss. So like now you can only play one, so you have less grind game, I guess. But this is like a very meh hit to the grind game. Also, it's a drop poplar. It's just so furiously, like infuriatingly bad now, which is like neg. But what a stupid hit. Number forty gimmick puppet of strength. Um, I don't actually know the Gimmick Puppet combo deck well enough. If you need two of those to- WHAT?! Jesse, you have to be playing the Gimmick Puppet combo deck. Apparently Konami didn't know it very well either because they put two hits on the list and it can still FTK. Kill, and that's fantastic, like the FTK. If you didn't need two of those to FTK, then this point, this hit obviously did nothing. Number C40, Gimmick Puppet of the Dark Strings. So another Gimmick Puppet card again, I, I don't know, I have no idea. <laughs> He's just like, I'm not gonna fucking talk about that. Okay, this is fine. I mean, the card is, like, obviously a problem in Mastral. Oh, this means they didn't ban Sanctifier. Yeah, I was like, is he gonna figure it out? Yep. I mean, obviously, this, this wasn't, like, the biggest pressing... That was what happened to me, too, is you get to that point in the, in the ban list. You're like, Branded Fusion, that's good. Oh, fuck, that's the first branded card. Shit, and we're on limits. I'm sure the format being branded, but it still is a good deck, and it's been around long enough that phasing it out of competition is probably fine. It means the deck is more vulnerable to Imperm and Valor now, like it is in Master Duel. There are some games where you go Alibur, Imperm, Pass, but overall the deck is still very much fine. It's not a big hit. Opening of the Spirit Gates. I called this! I called this! This was like the low-key hit to Ubel that uh, I, I called that other people kind of like weren't thinking about. Um, this does mean that Ubel loses some extension Danny ability this through too. hand traps and disruption, which is a bit of a nerf, but the deck is still going to be very good if there's no other hits. Pot of Prosperity. Oh, okay, this is late. Um, we expected this to happen last year. We're almost like trending towards Master Duel in a way. Yeah. Uh, Prosperity to one is still good though. Yeah. It means that it's just not Tempi a generic hit. card every deck can throw in. Although you'd argue with, as long as the Fiendsman cards exist, you don't really have space to play more cards like Prosperity right now. I think overall it's a fine hit. That card is really, really good, even though it's not that good right now. Sangen Summoning. Okay, they hit another brand new card. Um, I think Tempai is in a really bad spot right now. I think the deck is already not that good and every other deck has been just gotten so much better. It does get better with the fact Beaches is banned because it's a lot harder to set up these like lingering flood OTKs that will beat yeah. Tempai. One thing in summoning though kind of invalidates that because now you're losing to the same generic disruption that every deck can put up. And yeah, uh, saying in summoning is kind of, I mean, it's a broken card, but I think that kind of needed that. That grass looks greener. Let's go. <laughs> We're playing tier for worlds, baby. <laughs> Almost right in the drink. I uh, just need Fairy Tail Snow to come back. Oh man, I've been calling for this one for a long time, asking Tommy to bring it back because I think it. He, he, he is. He is grass. Is really cool fan. dynamic to the game. At Don't one, put fucking Fairy Tail Snow back person, though. Are you guys? Crazy. Are you very dumb? I think it's a really unique dynamic to Master that I extremely appreciate. So I'm looking forward to incorporating it into TCG decks as well. My Crystal Beast deck is 60 cards. It's not really a grass deck, but maybe I can shift how that works and then find a way to make that work. Oh, that definitely played one popular one Ash anyway. So what do I care? Skill drain. Fantastic. Uh, so this is probably my least hated floodgate. I don't mind this as much as like rivalry and whatever. I do. But with all these cards like White Forest and Snake Eyes sending off as cost, it does make it a lot more toxic because it's like Vanity's Emptiness where you can turn it on or off like over yeah. and over again. It going to one, obviously should just be banned, but it's still fine. Um, you can obviously still just place one and draw it, which is annoying, but overall I'm okay with it. Semi-limited. Okay. Blaster Dragon, Ruler of Inferno. I don't know why I didn't just go to three, whatever, who cares, we called this a long time ago. Fuck you. This is gonna shake up the metagame. 
Now that I can play two blaster, I'm gonna be the aster. Next. Redox. Dragon ruler of both. Same thing. Why? Oh, why? <laughs> Whatever. Next. Tempest. Dragon is the next one gonna be title? Next. <laughs> Dragon next one is title. Yeah. I, I, why not just put them to three? They're, they're, yeah, they don't do okay. anything in Master Duel. They're not gonna do anything here. You don't even have Tomahawk. You can make a Roar on or Tom oh. or, or a Roar on. So I like your really Weeby shirt. Thank you. Escapes. Little light tiger. The semi okay. section is always a. Uh, <laughs> like he's yeah, like I mean, four and he's like. Yeah, I forgot that the semi section fucking sucks ass. Alright, it's not gonna do anything. Thunder Dragon Colossus. One versus two makes zero difference, that's fine. Well, if yeah. the world chalice just is there. I don't know why they don't put these cards to three, because yeah. these cards kind of just. Why? Don't why? do anything. Like, why? It, it, why? These are cards you play one of, anyways. Anyways, Gabe's next. Unlimited. Cool. Armageddon Knight. Yeah. Red Rose Dragon. Okay, sure. Mad Scepter Unicorn Kirin. Kirin. Hate yeah. that card, but it's completely outclassed by modern Whatever. standards. Yeah. Crystal Mage Flush Fire. With the sure, errata. so is there like a addendum there that says post errata or no? Okay, I'm assuming he's gonna get errata because that's what we saw in the OCG. Ancient Fairy Dragon. Okay. Again, same thing. One or three doesn't make a difference, so the one or three doesn't matter. Denglong, first of the Yang Zing. Same yeah, thing. Yeah. Time seal. <laughs> that card should have been banned ten years unbanned ten years ago. Um, <laughs> Okay, so final thoughts to this list. There were a surprising lack of Snake Eye cards. Actually, like, yep. gross. Yep. Grossly low amount of Snake Eye cards. Yep. The only actual hit here is Poplar, really, right? Um, so Appaloosa doesn't mean you'll need some more creative ways to play around Nibiru, but that's like the extent of it. Beach just means you can't search floodgates. Locker just means you can't burn for time. Good changes. Those hit every deck, though. Only Snake Eye hits, which also matter because Snake Eye was obviously good before Fiendsmith, is like just Poplar and Ash, and Ash doesn't matter. We've seen it in OCG and in, in Master Duel. Poplar only makes the deck a little bricky, where if you drop Poplar, you want to punch somebody. But like, but it's, it's also full combo. the best still. deck, and that is depressing because people were immediately mad with the last ban list because Snake Eye was still the best deck. So just wait, in the longest format in years, and see it happen again is depressing. I am very happy about Grass though. I am happy about Appaloosa. I think we're in the right direction, but I really wish they would just take a more aggressive approach to this yeah. bloody Snake Eye deck. Like I know we're getting more support cards in the next set. That bloody. Them. That just makes the problem worse. English um, Jesse. I'll, I'll make sure to. Dwell on my thoughts a bit uh, and make a new tier list for staples, rogue decks, and the best decks of the format over the next coming weeks. Obviously, after the World Championship, because that'll be my focus for now. But I make I will make sure you guys have all that content. Obviously, I need some time to sit on my opinions. But make sure to like, subscribe, comment down below what you think about the hits. I think Jesse think will Konami make another up, video when he comes guys, back so that says but something that, like, that's time. functionally okay. something hey, like, Jess, tell us hey, how it's you feel me, about Snake Eyes again. Jesse Cotton Yu-Gi-Oh. I've had some time to think, and now I think that the Snake Eye hits were more impactful than I first uh, described on a beach in Cancun, but they still aren't sufficient. That's what the video is going to be. Next up, let's do the Ruxin one. So we'll go from someone who immediately got everything right to someone who not only will immediately get everything right, but already knows the outcome because he's living in the future. All right, Bandless is finally here. We've been sitting around. I've been waiting all day for this sucker. Actually, we've been waiting a long time because it's going to be uh, Bandless will be released late August. That was what they told us. I like this one because you can hear like a fan going in the background. Like he's done no audio correction. He's like, I don't, I don't fucking care about this at all. This late August. Um, just check my watch. Oh, it's August 31st. It's one o'clock here, but it's like eight o'clock in Europe. So you Europeans had to wait till the last like four hours of August to actually get this thing. So like how you said, Jesse really gets Yu-Gi-Oh! Ruxin is the same. Literally true. Also, add... Someone sponsored this? Ruxin, hit me up next time. I want to be the sponsor for the Ruxin banless video. I want you to be like, but this video is sponsored. It comes to me and I go, but first, this video is sponsored by MBT Yu-Gi-Oh. Oh, congratulations, Konami. You made us wait. All right, so it's finally here. And I am here for my, my most important videos, reacting to the ban list. So I'm here on the Yu-Gi-Oh TCG page. I'm also cut off. Let's do it like that. I'm pretty sure it's not popping up on the I love <laughs> so much. I love that. <laughs> I love that just by virtue of that one dog ass uh, reaction video, he now feels compelled to do this every time.
He's like, I don't play the game. I hate it. Oh my God. In this page yet, it's not doing that. So we're going to do it the, the new way. We're going to check out the Twitter account, AKA the X account. What will be the big changes? Attention duelists. How do I see this one at a time? Let's just go like this. Forbidden and limited list card list update effective from <laughs> September 2nd. He's like not even absorbing forbidden. the picture. Off He's just reading with it the off. the big ones. You know what forbidden means? That means they are gone. <laughs> Yu-Gi-Oh! TCG. Cut down. No <laughs> it's like the first 30 seconds. When a card is banned, it can't be played anymore. Not allowed. No more. Three, two, one, zero. That's where we're at. The first one. <laughs> Fiend Smith Lacrima. <laughs> oh my god. I'm gonna fucking vomit, man. Oh my god. Lacrima. <laughs> Okay, Fiend Smith. Yeah, <laughs> it's a good, it's a good thing. Yeah, yeah, it's great. This is JD Vance ordering donuts all over again. Thing, because Fiend Smith, very expensive cards. Yep. Very, very good to see this. Very happy. <laughs> Thank goodness, Fiend Smith is banned. Okay, moving on to the next one. Who cares <laughs> no, about that no, card? hold. Apollosa. <laughs> They, they really reprinted this thing like 12 times in Starlight and Quarter Century Seeker Rare and Alter and Art and all that crap so they could ban it. Okay, that is that is a pretty good point, actually. That is a pretty good point. Really? I remember, I actually said this. When this thing got an alternate Quarter Century Starlight fifth, 15th print, I said, they're probably doing this just so they can ban it like they always do. And people were like, nah, Oplosa sucks in the game, man. They're not going to ban that thing. Don't question the master of the ban list, okay? <laughs> it's banned now. Okay, on to the next one. Hot He's Red so Dragon Archfiend King Calamity. People are playing synchros these days? I mean, come <laughs> on. Seriously? Really? <laughs> like, what, a fucking synchro monster? What is this, 2010? Come on. <laughs> look, look at the color coordination they did here, by the way. Fusion, Link, Synchro, <laughs> and Xyz. So I like it. I like it. B and then we have Beatrice. Wait, time out. Beatrice is an Xyz? Yeah, I definitely knew that. I knew that. <laughs> Lady of the Eternal. Dude, that's been such a problematic card. Every time I go to my locals, I'm, I sit down. I whip out my deck. <laughs> He's never been to locals. I draw five cards, and then Beatrice is there. I'm like, oh, you know, they play it against me, and it just ruins my whole experience. Thank goodness this thing is now on the ban list. And hopefully it will be eternal Lee <laughs> on the ban list. Okay. Good. Great. Good. Forbidden good. ones. Good. I mean, look, I predicted this. I predicted Apollosa. Yeah, yeah. Just saying. I, I mean, I, I, I'm just waiting for Pot of Greed to come off the ban list because that was my <laughs> other prediction. What is this? Limited. Okay. So limited. <laughs> what is this? Is limited? So what does that mean, Ruxin? Next. Eva. 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 One of the <laughs> shortest names ever has been banned. <laughs> <laughs> One of the shortest names ever. Is <laughs> that is correct? He is right. Even the little dude with the little, <laughs> the door of the explorer head. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Banned? Or no, not banned? No. Limited? Sorry, sorry. That means one. <laughs> he, wait, he doesn't know that it was banned. <laughs> He's like, shit, it went to one. Damn. One. That means one. Snake Eye Ash. This was on. the only good card. What set was this? Agoff. Was an ultra rare in a couple sets ago. <sighs> no, that's that's sorry. That was Poplar. Yeah. Uh, that's this one. Ash. <laughs> snake Eye Ash. So the Snake Eye, everybody everybody hates Snake Eye. I mean, come on. That's the whole problem. Here's the thing. I'm <laughs> this is the Trump ban list reaction. <laughs> pumped about this ban list. Here's why. Because everybody's been upset with this format. All right? Me included. <laughs> Very upset. <laughs> if we can have a good ban list here, we can get some of these crappy cards out of here. People will be pumped about Yu-Gi-Oh! again. You know what's bad when everybody's just pumped about retro pack reprints. That's the only thing people are excited about. Yuck. No one's excited to play. Numbers are down at the YCS. <laughs> Numbers are down at the regionals. Yeah. We don't like that. No. Let's get this thing turned around. I think <laughs> Snake Eye being limited. Having, but did they ban one too? Didn't they ban something to do with that? No, it was Fiend Smith. <laughs> wait, even he was like, wait, did they ban any Snake Eye cards? No. Hmm. <laughs> even he was like, he doesn't know what this deck does. And he's like... Oh, hold up, there's no ban? I, I don't know. Whatever. But <laughs> two cards at one. Good to see. Beautiful. Amazing. Then we have number 40, Gimmick Puppet of Strings. I remember this thing on Master Duel. Oh? This thing is annoying as heck. 
So I fully support this this limit, okay? Sure. Unless it just went from banned to, to limited. But if it did just go from three... <laughs> He's like, okay, if it went from zero to one. Three to one, I'm happy. Here's the problem. I need this. I need this so I have some more information here. Okay, it's not helping me here. Number <laughs> C40. Look, I don't know whose idea this was with Konami. They're like, let's make number, let's make cards named number whatever. First of all, <laughs> he's, he's like talking cool. shit on like, the you know concept of chaos number numbers. C40. How much more confusing can you make? I know it means chaos, whatever, whatever. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Come on. Like, why did we do that? Very confusing. <laughs> Branded fusion? Oh, okay. Limited? Brandon, Branded Fusion. Yeah. Wow, all you Branded fans, I know there's a lot of you guys out there. <laughs> That's crazy. Opening of the Spirit Gates. That yes, sounds like it was printed in 2002, but I've never heard of it. So I <laughs> Pot of Prosperity. <laughs> oh. Pot cards. Hey, look, I predicted Pot of Greed going to three, so they had to limit Pot of Prosperity so you couldn't play too many Pot cards, obviously. Yeah. Obviously, because you have a Pot of Prosperity and you have three Pot of Greed. Yeah. Three Pot of Prosperity. I mean, you're drawing your whole deck. It's too easy. That's true. Grass got unbanned? He forgot where he was. <laughs> he forgot where he was. <laughs> okay. That's kind of insane. Is that... Is that going to be fun or is that going to be insane? Okay, look, I remember grass decks. Did they make it to Duel Links at one point? Or maybe it was Master. I don't remember. It's insane how much graveyard crap you get going if you if you draw that. But it's only at one. So it's like if you play a 60 card deck, you got to draw it. That's like pretty rough. Can you search that thing? That'd be kind of insane if you could. Okay, Skill Drain. I'm pre was Skill Drain banned before this? He has no idea. He's like, fuck. Was this at zero or at three? I do not remember. It wasn't, right? What was it at? Three? One? I mean, look, it's He's a literally like, it's good. Fuck. It's good that. Limited list. I don't know about that grass like screen. Now. That sounds insane. Pot of Prosperity, you got to make Skip saying it again. Makes sense. Go to Sangin. Right, yeah, Tell us your thoughts on Sangin Summoner. Snake Eye, get them out of here. Nobody likes them. Get them out. It's crappy. We're happy about that. Brand Infusion, RIP branded. Sorry, guys. All right, next one. Let's see what this is. Just semi Dude, there's a lot of semi limits. Holy crap. That's a lot of semi limits. Simo is not going to be happy about this. Let me just throw that out there. <laughs> Blaster Dragon Roller. So this went from one to two. Redox, yes. Tempest, same thing, yes, title, yes, whatever. Yes. These cards okay. are like 100 years old. It's not yeah. going to matter. No. Colossus obviously wasn't a big deal. Skip to bring Tiger! One what the fuck? Because now it's a two. By the way, I have a PSA 10 Ultimate Rare. If you guys want to, <laughs> you know, don't don't want to play your cards, you want to just buy it and look at it, I got you. Check out Ruxon34.com. Lunalite Tiger. Okay, good. You I've never back. even heard of this card. Okay, I don't know what that is. Ib. I <laughs> feel like this card real. is on every ban list. Somehow it's getting moved around every time. Whatever. If the world child says start, I mean, who cares? This, I mean, this will be fun. Blaster, Redox. <laughs> How do you feel about saying it's summoning? My really goodness, that was such a banger of a card in the summer of 2002. I'm going to really enjoy that one. Okay, is there anything else? <laughs> okay, Unlimited. Here we go. Pot of Greed. Armageddon Knight. Why was Armageddon Knight on the list? You know, Ruxin, I don't think I could tell you. That seems fine. Red Rose Dragon. It's like Black Rose, but like the baby version. So That's whatever. True. Nobody that cares about that. Mad Inspector <laughs> Unicorn Kier. That card was like amazing for a he while, right? He did find right? the That's best in, card uh, on the Unlimited list. He was like, oh, card in card. Beep, boop, beep, beep, beep. I think it was in uh, Docs, maybe? Dimension of Chaos? I think you're right. That might be right. I can't fact check my editor because there's no editing. Plush Fire. <laughs> Wait, wasn't this banned? <laughs> He's, he doesn't it know about the banned to unlimited. He doesn't know about the errata. Wait, <laughs> I could. I think this was banned from zero to three. Yeah, yeah. Okay, I know VOP is gonna be happy about that one. That's his card. He's been stockpiling those for a while. I also think that one's from Docs too. Yeah, Dimension of Chaos as well. I think I have a few of these. I need to find those, put them on TCG after this. Ancient Fairy Dra Wait! Ancient Fairy? Okay, I'm like 99% sure artists. that was banned too, or maybe limited. No, it was limited. They're going crazy. They're unbanning everything. Time Seal? What in the world? <laughs> Time Seal! Oh my gosh. Skip the draw phase of your opponent's next turn, huh? That seems fun. <laughs> And then the first of the Yang Zing, look, this, when your name is this long, I just don't care. I mean, like, if, it, if you get over, like, 
20, 20 <laughs> letters or whatever. 20, I, it's not even have to be letters, I guess. Uh, uh, numerals, no, 20 letters or numerals. Characters. Numeral. What is the word, the other word that would mean either of those? Can't remember because this is live. I don't get to edit the thing, so. <laughs> Wow, so what a ban good, man. So good. Honestly, they made a ton of changes. Oh, I mean, like, how many is that? Three, six, seven? <laughs> He's counting. Uh, 10, 13, 14. How is he doing this without a calc? 17, 20, 23, 25. Oh my gosh. 29 changes? That's insane. Okay, people were upset about this last, uh, this last format, I guess. They really shook it up. 29 changes. I don't know if these are good or not. Well, okay. okay I take it back. Of course, I know if they're good. This was a great change. Yeah, Amazing yeah, course, new yeah. ban list. Yeah. But they definitely changed it up, which is good. They this did is good news. Yeah. I mean, it's who knows changed. when the next one will be? I'm guessing they're doing them like once or like three times a year or something now because like we, the last one was April. So maybe four times a year. So probably not till the end of the year we're going to see another one. So hopefully all these changes will be awesome. Some of these are major, like from zero to three. And I mean, they brought some really old cards cards back. I heard they might bring back Heavy Storm. Unfortunately, they didn't. Sad times. Would have yeah. been an epic GOAT card. But that's, I mean, that's that's just the perfect ban list it's reaction. So that's funny all you could ever be, ask for uh... from me. I know everything about this format. I know all these cards. <laughs> that's true. Um, and I'm very happy, except that they uh, printed Oplos 100 times and yep. then they banned it. I mean, just why do we need the, all the QCRs if you're just going to ban it, okay? Like, I mean, just could just have the Starlight, maybe one QC, one cool QCR, one alternate art. You know, you didn't need like two of them, I guess. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Just moving on. Snake Eyes is gone. That's what we care about. Thunder Dragon Colossus, nope. baby. Bring it on back. Time Seal. We're going to be skipping draw phases. <laughs> yeah, we are. Draw baby. cards. Yadagrasu. Time Seal. That's going to be the new tier one meta deck. Mark it down in your calendars. Next time the ban list is rolling around, they're like, Time Seal Yada. We got to ban it. It's been so oppressive. That's what you got to remember for the next one. Thank you guys for watching the Banless video. Make sure you subscribe if you want to see more it's of these so three or four times a year. And, uh, of course, we will be uh, doing many other things that are not this, including Wheeled Goat, coming soon. Oh, he's so great. He's so great, man. <laughs> I, did, I did frame one comment. This guy has the same manner. A restaurant that only serves one item. Got me feeling like Popeye. With the hardest name to pronounce in LA. Go ahead and try. Zingaliov Hats. Just joking. Trying Zingaliov Hats for lunch. A piece of bread filled with 12 different types. This is Ruxin. What the fuck? It's greens. Christmas came early. Never thought greens would have this much flavor. Probably because there's a little too much salt. I taste spinach, onion, parsley for eight bucks. I'm pretty sure this will fill me up for lunch. A little tapatio would be nice. Tabasco maybe. <sighs> what else is in here? If you guys know all 12 ingredients, please let me know. Serving bread and greens from their roots in the past. Lunch score, 7.8. Okay, I'm going to be honest. That looks terrible. What the fuck? Oh, man. That's why it's a 7.8, yeah. <laughs> the only trusted source for competitive analysis. I don't know if you all have been watching recent Ruxin videos, but they're so fucking good. Uh, for the last, like, three months, he's been trying to pull the QCR uh, Dragon Master Magia that's, like, less than one per case from... Uh, from Battles of Legend Terminal Revenge or whatever. And he has opened, like, no joke, I would say, like, thousands of packs of this set. Like, I've I've never, ever seen someone this unlucky specifically with respect to this card. Ugh. <clears throat> oh, man. <laughs> card we've been searching for thanks you're barding robert x we've opened boxes <sighs> how many more do you think it'll take let me know in the comments shut up <laughs> they say 90 percent of magia addicts quit before they hit big all right we got alex's i gotta pee though be right back 2558 at present what what are the odds to find Magia? Because I imagine it's it's better than that. He's opened he's opened a hundred boxes of this set.
<sighs> oh my god. Oh. It's posted on the Yu-Gi-Oh account Twitter, which kind of sucks, which means we don't get to do our typical banless reaction. I'm just exhausted. I think we're all exhausted. I think Yu-Gi-Oh has hit a Okay. <clears throat> Um, so first up, Alex doesn't play advanced. Uh, he hasn't for like half a decade. <laughs> so a precipice. He's, he's doing a little bit of a, of a vibes based analysis here insofar as he's like, listen, people are upset based on how mad they are on Twitter and how many times Joseph texts me, I'm going to do it for real this time now where we are just He's at an the empath point that so many people are fed up with so many things we want to see we want to see a crucifixion whoa settle down there Pontius place I think we are I looking made this joke on Twitter to see what is going to be the equivalent of the dragon ruler ban list from 10 years ago I think if there's anything on this list that is less than like 20 hits to individual cards that are going to basically reset the format to a degree I don't think that's going to be enough for people. I think it's going to be rough. Yeah, no. I, we'll have to see. I mean, we'll he, he is right. So that's what happened, and I it wasn't enough for people. I have rolling a little bit just because we are able to see some cards here. And yeah. boy, are there some good ones. So right off the bat, it's not going to be as fun as we're used to where we can scroll through. Uh, we have Fiendsmith's Lacrima. We have Appaloosa Bow, the Goddess, Hot Red Dragon, Archfiend King, Calamity. Did you guys do a YCS Beatrice, Advanced Lady 3v3 the together? So we did that two... Vegas is ago. Last Vegas, we did the Ultimate Time Wizard, which was really upsetting. Um, we may run it back, provided there's a YCS uh, 3v3 this year. I think the Vegas 3v3 is like a permanent fixture of the YCS season now. But two ago, he played 37 Trap Card Labyrinth, and he was like, I'll figure out the format on the fly. And he did. He did like a day and a half of like learning the format and testing. And then he was like, okay, uh, I know enough to activate Waybridge at the optimal time. Eternal. For the and record, he did. I he, still don't he know why you guys own. like watching my <laughs> We made day two. It's not like I play competitive Yu-Gi-Oh! anymore. But in any case, then we lost we're going to go uh, ahead and give our thoughts to this. Um, what's this is name? actually a phenomenal start. And this is the only thing that I saw it's because like I Grand pulled Maji it up player, and I saw it was on whose name Twitter. Starts Everything with a y. else we're going to see is going to be in this format, which kind of sucks for the anticipation in the hype but we'll we'll get there so let's let's start basically we need to see hits to so many different decks we need to see fiendsmith hits we need to see snake eye hits Yishan. we need to see we lost uh, to his team Ubel hits like we need to see hits to uh, so many different round. strategies that have been just at the top of competitive play for so long but two also people just making so the same critical dumb joke. fucking cards that people are just so sick of dealing with i'm talking about floodgates i'm talking about things that don't let you play the game and yep. honestly Looking at the bands, this is a damn good start. It Lacrima is. makes it sense. Is. It's Fiendsmith. It's actually, I'm kind of surprised it was this early that they hit this card, <laughs> if I'm going to be yeah. totally honest. Like, I get it. Earliest I understand why they banned this card, especially yep. because of the damage, like, especially for competitive play. Just having this built-in engine card that you can just immediately deal damage to, like, just win a game like that. That's, like, obviously not the reason this card is banned, but that's, like, part of it, right? It's just No, I literally think that's the reason the card was banned. Now that we've had a couple of days to play around with the cards that fill a similar role, like Aerial Eater and Necroquip, I literally think that's the reason this card was banned. This card, it's, yeah, like, this can go. Appaloosa makes sense. I have had the philosophy for so long now, as Yu-Gi-Oh! has gotten older and as I've slowly waned out of competitive play, that one of the things that I started to really hate about modern Yu-Gi-Oh! is the <clears> fact that so many boards just focus all of their resources into these Omni-Negate type of cards that every board just sort of, like, does its own thing, but then ends on, like, the Barons, the Appaloosas, yep. and just makes, yep. it, makes it so that your opponent can't play the game whatsoever. And Appaloosa I think it is finally time for this card to get banned because it's sort of just in that same line of cards, especially as monster effects have gotten more and more powerful over time. I think it's finally time for this card to go. And speaking of cards that don't allow people to play the fucking game, Hot Red Dragon, Archfiend, King Calamity, rest in peace. No one's going to fucking miss this card. How they even thought they to play already this card in the banned first place it in every me. other like, I'm so location. Sick of cards that literally just turn skip your opponent, right? So Master thank God this Duel is gone. got to and this Beatrice. before us. Now, Beatrice. Rest in peace, Beatrice. I think this one's kind of sad for a lot of people. I yeah. like yes, Beatrice has become one of but the most broken. abusable cards of all time just because of the fact that it can foolish cards out of the deck, which is set up for an immense amount of unfair bullshit. But 
Beatrice, you know, it's a BA card at the end of the day. And I really liked Burning Abyss, and that was like its main function, right? And so the fact that it was generic, people could abuse it. Sorry, I just got... I'm looking at my recommendeds here. We have the Farfa one. We have opening the new Pokemon trick or trade uh, packs. And then we have Bill Cipher, one fatal mistake, how he lost. What do you mean how he lost? What are they analyzing Bill Cipher like it's a fucking war game? Bill Cipher, the mistake he made when executing his plan. It's a show. <laughs> he got too cocky. For all these different reasons. I Bill think it is Cypher finally time for this card to go. Every strategic advantage in the world. I actually think world. this is a phenomenal start to the list. So let's see what we got for the limitations. Have I, I haven't Zerge seen anything past this yet. All I saw Stalingrad. initially when I pulled this up before filming <laughs> was I saw that Lacrimo was here, and then I didn't even actually really see these cards uh, until they were just off to the I side. I need to know how he lost. The new book for the show is out. This video is three years old. live reaction because I haven't seen anything else kind of like if Bill Cypher was less gay. Whoa! Holy shit! Okay. Fuck off. We have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 cards on the limited list! Okay, so... Ava, Snake Eye Ash, Snake Eye Poplar, Gimmick Puppet of Strings, Gimmick Puppet of Dark Strings, Branded Fusion, Opening of the Spirit Gates, Pot of Prosperity, Sengen Summoning, that grass. They brought grass back. Come on, dude. And Skill Drain. This was almost insane. Well, I mean, it's still insane, but like, okay. Okay, there, there's a lot here. So. Ava, like, whatever. Who fucking cares? Snake Eye Ash, Snake Eye Poplar. Uh, the Snake Eye Sits. These are the Snake Eye Sits. I, I'm actually kind of surprised they went, like, so, should I be surprised they went so aggressive against it? Not really. I think people really need it. I don't think this was very aggressive against it. To see this deck hit in some capacity. And now one Ash, one Poplar. They went after the Gimmick Puppet deck because, again, uh, we have so many cards out in Yu-Gi-Oh! where it's just either something that's built to make sure your opponent can't play the game or it just immediately wins the game or it's something that your opponent can't even interact with you to stop you from winning the game. And that's what the Gimmick pu Puppet FTK and just the Gimmick Puppet cards, the new support, just in general enabled. So, like, yeah. fuck that. Who the fuck cares? And, like, Sengen Summoning is, like, sort of in line with that. Like, was Tenny, like, the best deck? No, it was a good deck and one of the, you know, stronger decks of the format. Tenny. But again, I'm just sick of cards being printed that just say, like, your opponent can't even interact with you, right? Like, what? What's the point of playing the game at that point? Like, just, I'm, I think that makes sense. I think that makes sense. Branded Fusion going to one. Opening of the Spirit Gates. This is actually, this I think makes sense with Opening of the Spirit Gates because an old Phantom card. of you Bell uh, was, I think Phantom of you Bell was like the card that makes the most sense to hit. And I, I doubt they're going to hit and it. it just but came out. This makes sense because this is not, <clears throat> this is like an indirect hit to you Bell, right? Because I don't think they're going to hit the cards that they just printed. At the end of the day, we understand how the ban list functions. So this card definitely well, hits with the consistency the of, of the deck. Remote, and so apparently. I think... With their hands tied in that regard, I think this makes the most sense. Prod of Prosperity, I think this was a long time coming as well. I think people, like, basically when it comes to all the pot cards, I think this is, like, just up there in thinking that, like, eventually all these cards are going to go to one because Prosperity allowing you just to dig six makes sense. Grass, why are we bringing this back? Like, genuinely, why are we bringing this back? I'm pretty sure the OCG has this card legal, but, like, genuinely, why are we bringing this card back? Like, I, I don't understand why milling 20, as a one-of, especially, makes any sense to me. Just keep this card banned. I, I Even if it doesn't see... I just don't think this promotes a healthy style of play yep. in the slightest. I would have preferred to see this card still on the list. But I'm pretty a sure lot like, of legal in the OCG here and Master like Duel, to do it. it banned in Master Duel, too? I don't fucking no, know. I, I hate grass. I think it's, like, it was cool when it first came out, and then people, like, it, it just became, like, really degenerate. Even if only one copy, I don't like this card. Skill Drain's really funny. I love how Skill Drain has hopped around so many different spots on the ban list over time like it's been limited then semi then unlimited and then just like all over the place right and now it's limited i guess this is fine i'm talking about earlier how i wanted to see like a lot of the floodgates get hit like what other floodgates do we have limited at this point we have rivalry i'm pretty sure goes in tikaboo uh, uh what, what i'm pretty sure oh, what's the other card i'm forgetting one anti-spell i think it's anti-spell or is anti-spell still i don't know we have too many ban lists now across all of the tcg ocg master Duel. i forget what's where but in any case Skill Drain going to one is less oppressive, but, like, if we're going to put a card like this to one, like the rest of the Floodgate, can we just fucking ban it? I think this card is so irritating. In, and, and this goes for all the Folks. Floodgates, not just Skill Drain specifically, but then it becomes more is irritating wrong? being at one because then it's is just like, oh, wrong? I open the one of, or, oh, I have this way to, like, randomly get this card to the is field. Like, wrong? I guess Beatrice is banned, but through all these, like, weird mechanisms, so now it's like, oh, good, I have my one of Floodgate to just automatically win the game. Do we want that in the game? Do we want that in the game? I'm not necessarily sure. But in any case, I think everything else here is actually... I think everything here is pretty good, all things considered. Like, Skill Drain going from 3 to 1 is good, but I think I just would have wanted to see that and all of the other uh, Floodgates just banned because yeah. I think people are just sick of them. Like, we, yeah, we disposed them. of so many of them previously. Let's just do away with all of them. But yeah. I think we we definitely hit Snake Eye. We definitely we, we sort of hit u -Bell. We sort of hit u -Bell. Uh We hit one of the best starters for uh, the 10e deck, and then we have a consistency hit in Pross. 
I think grass is like the thing I'm the most pissed about. We I got rid of, you know, we, we limited the, the capabilities of, of the gimmick puppet deck. There's like again, half like, the I'm video just, I'm hoping we just None don't facilitate those types of strategies material. moving forward from like a fundamental card design perspective. But it is what it is. Like Brandon Fusion going to one two is kind of funny. I kind of just like overlooked this because I was looking at Spirit Gates. Uh, that is a, that is a branded hit. Like granted, you can still search it, but like it definitely reduces the consistency <clears> of that deck for sure. So we were hitting a lot here. We were hitting a lot, and um, I think overall, I think. I want to say people are going to be genuinely happy with this. I think this is, if we saw less than this, I think people would have been pretty pissed. And we already got a pretty decent, oh, geez. We already got a pretty decent start uh, with the, the bands that we had here. And now moving to the limitations, I think this is a big enough shakeup that for the amount of anticipation and hype that was surrounding this list, I think this is something that people are going to be happy with. I, I, I... Mm. No, you should know by now, Alex. People will never be happy. I genuinely do. I genuinely do. Okay, let's see if there's... Anything else? Semi-limits. Okay. Um, you guys know I absolutely abhor the semi-limited list. I think it is just a waste. Like, any yep. card that is on here, and there are seven of yep. them, Blaster, Redox, Tempest, Title, Tiger, that's very funny, Colossus, and Ib. I th I don't understand why they couldn't just put all these cards to either, because I'm pretty sure most of these were limited. They uh, I'm pretty sure they limited Ib or unbanned Ib last list. Yeah. Colossus was either last list or the list before. Yep. I'm pretty sure Tiger's been on the list, and these have all been there as well. Is it really going to destroy the format if they put all of these cards to three? That is yes. my question. Like, I think the but the rulers to three in the format of immediately is destroyed. Is probably Colossus, but Colossus wasn't even seeing that much play anyway. I understand the Dragon Rulers. This makes sense because Dragon Rulers it's are the getting support, Colossus and so like they want to make sure yeah. that the best cards for the support are going to be legal. And uh, I think people are gonna be excited to see those back because it actually adds to some splashability, especially uh, titles specifically with the new Atlantean stuff coming out. MBT. Did you see that the Philadelphia Eagles endorsed Kamala Harris? What? I didn't think they could do that. That could be kind of cool. Is it going to actually have a real impact? We'll have to see, but I, I kind of doubt it in all honesty. I think Yu-Gi-Oh! is just too far gone at Freaks this point. Freaks Part 2? Uh, Lunalite Tiger, fine. Colossus... Again, this sort of just is antithetical to the whole philosophy of like, okay, we're going to ban all of these extremely oppressive cards, and then we're going to bring Colossus back. Why? I know there are going to be a lot of people that are going to see Colossus who are fans of Thunder Dragon and be like, oh, this is great. Colossus is legal again, right? But <sighs> I, don't, I don't see it. I think we're banning floodgates and then unbanning floodgates. It doesn't make it, or unlimiting floodgates, I should say. It is specific to a particular deck or I guess particular engines that could be fit within particular decks just because there are ways to sort of circumvent that. I don't know, man. I, just, like they should have just kept this Holy either limited man. or just like have this banned. I think if they're going to adhere to one philosophy, just like stick with it to the end. This just seems antithetical, but it is what it is. And Ib, I don't really think matters. I think no one's playing more than one copy of Ib anyway. I'm pretty sure when Ib was legal, people were only playing a single copy of it regardless. So putting this to two, even to three, I don't think does anything. I don't see people jamming three Ibs in 2024, but who knows? Someone might come up with something. I highly doubt it. And then Tiger's like, whatever. Like, are we going to go back to playing like Luna Light decks in, in 2024? I'm surprised he's gotten this I mean, much out of the I, I doubt it. This could probably, list, all, all of these except Colossus, I think would probably be fine to go to three. I think Colossus would have been better off just staying at one because like who, going who wants to, to play zero. against Colossus? It's not fun. It's not fun. All right. So that's it for the semi-limits. I'm not a fan of semi-limits, but I think, you know, they always have like their quarantine zone to, before they unlimit all these cards. I would not be surprised if next list, all of these cards except maybe Colossus go to three. Final list. Final list. Unlimited. Time seal. Oh, Jesus. Okay. Armageddon Knight. Red Rose Dragon. Kirin. Plush Fire. Ancient Fairy Dragon. Denglong. Time seal. Okay, so this is funny to me because I don't recall if Armageddon was at one. I want to say Armageddon was was, has been at one copy. So I like how we move Armageddon straight to three, but like, you know, we, oh, can't put out the dragon rules at three. That's like too broken or anything. Whatever. Um, Armageddon Knight is a very powerful starter for any of the dark focus decks because it's an on summon effect. And we've seen Armageddon Knight be abused in the past. Granted, like at this exact moment, there may not be something that can abuse this, but like this is something that's like always been on like people's radar. And you know, with past formats, we've seen how powerful Armageddon Knight can be. So was Kieran at one okay. before? I think uh, Kieran Red Rose was Dragon, at one before, right? I, sure. You know, give the give the Dragon Link player that one something they did to play with. Why three. not? They were like, Kieran we're, we're not waiting Magic on Specters, this. I believe, are we getting want support you to play in one of the future sets. I forget if it's the next one or the one following. And so putting the best Magic Specter card back to three to bolster that archetype's viability is. <laughs> It makes sense. I, I get mean, it from a business perspective, but, it but it's really anything. frustrating because Kieran is so fucking annoying because it's it so funny can be targeted people or destroyed. Kieran and yes, we have plenty of effects now in Yu-Gi-Oh! Historically, it was, Kieran's but man, it's bad that now. That doesn't mean Kieran is necessarily fun to play uh, against 
just because well, there are not. outs. It's so again, not. I still feel like that kind of conflicts with the overall theory here. Plush Fire makes sense. This card is receiving an errata. I think it's getting reprinted yep. in the tins that are coming out very recently. And so with Plush Fire getting its errata, it makes sense that this card is going to go to three. There's also new Perform Age support coming out in a future set as well. I don't know if that's going to push Perform Age into like competitive contention, but the errata, I don't want to say has rendered the card unplayable, but it's definitely not nearly as broken as it was when it was in the original Pepe deck. So take that for what it's worth. Ancient yep. Fairy is fine. It's errata now. It's not nearly as good as it used to be. And I this card could have probably gone to three as soon as it got errata because like yep. even if you are going to play one, you're only going to play one because the extra deck space is so tight. Dangalong is something that like a lot of people might see and freak out at, but I don't think Dang I think Dangalong is far past the point of being relevant just because Yu-Gi-Oh has just changed. I think by like the standards of when Dangalong was first introduced. Well, this is one of those okay, cards that I sure, thought maybe like, fine, it's a very good card. Crazy, I think now it, there might be a deck fine. that can find a way to abuse this, but I think for the most part, we're kind of past the point. It's sort of in the same line with Ib, right? Like Ib and Dangalong are very similar cards in a lot. Weird language criticism here. So when we describe a deck using a certain card in a way that seems unfair. We usually describe it as the, the, this deck abuses this card. Is there a different word I can use than that? I feel weird being like, Dang Long is a victim of abuse. What, is there a different word I can use? What, what What's another? Chat, throw me another word here that I can use personally. Breaks. Exploits. Oh, I'll use exploits. A lot of ways. And I Thank feel like you. they're kind of just past their prime. And so... I think this going to three is like not the end of the world. Time Seal is very funny just because like as an old school player, Time Seal has been banned for so long. I'm, I am almost want to say this got either unlimited or semi-limited or even limited in the, the TC, or not the TCG. Slutted the TCG, out. The OCG. That's, that's what and I like to hear. Time Seal that's is just right so there. old. I don't really think there is a, like, are people going to be trying to do time yeah, seal loops like in these 2024? Grass piles are kind of like maybe, for Dang right? We're obviously hitting some of the cards like Beatrice that could like stop that from happening because there is an argument that there would be ways to like, oh, you can set time seal after you like send it to the graveyard or something like that. But are you really going to waste your ability to like set cards or like search them from the deck on time seal when you could get like a floodgate that like wins you the game automatically? Granted, this is going to be at three, but <laughs> roll I back feel time like seal ain't no way. Wait, hold up. You might be onto something. Hold up. So on turn one, you can roll back time seal, which solves the old problem with the card is that it only stops the fourth draw. And then time seal is a viable card. Obviously, like an older Yu-Gi-Oh, it was a lot slower. You could set up loops with like Mask of Darkness and stuff. And it was like a lot easier to like maintain a time seal lock. But so many cards now just And if you roll back time seal and then in your opponent's draw, you roll back time seal again. They have to put a card back. ...you to search and dig through your deck with an individual card that even if you get time sealed, okay, normal summon Ash, you're going to do your full combo anyway, assuming you have the card to do so. And like a pseudo Yada lock and you that laugh like, and they requires dual all this extra work to go through by 2024 standards. That's, time I'm seal is one it. of the most I, I, dual I taining win condition cards ever. To come back. It's, it's not going like, to win the normal way. You got to give like, me a giggle. it's fine to come back, it's like, why would we unban this card? You know, like, why would we want people to mess with it? But at the end of the day, I think it's actually probably fine. If you look at the entire ban list up until this point and see every card to analyze analyst. and think which of these could come back i think time seal probably would have been in like the top five of yeah. cards that are probably gonna have zero effect on the game it's a trap it's slow Yu-Gi-Oh cards are individually so powerful I don't know if that this knows doesn't matter anymore. So I think a lot of people might see this and freak out. you can't immediately activate it. I actually think this is fine. Like it only takes really effect deal. on but your opponent's overall second thoughts, turn. I think this list is going to satisfy people. I think if there was anything less than what we are seeing right now, I think people would have actually gone ballistic and That's probably true. would have rate quit. True. Just, just genuinely. If if we got one of those lists, like we got, I think it was like during Necros format, where but we had I like think three people hits. May I think do they that like anyway. hit Unicorn and like Conahawk and like semi-limited a card or oh something like that. If well, we that had was one of those COVID lists list. today, people would have genuinely lost their minds. And so... I think, I think this is definitely going to shake the game up a bit. I think that we've quelled the power of what is arguably the best deck or, you know, some of the best... <clears throat> massively disagree with that. ...decks of the format by checking some of the most powerful cards that are currently available. I think this is going to allow a lot of decks that actually seemed really cool. Regardless of your position on Snake Eye, because it seems there is kind of a big disconnect as to whether people think that it's actually going to be clearly the best deck in a post list environment or competitive with a couple of its contemporaries, regardless of how you feel about that, you can't look at this deck and say that you, Bell, suffered a a major hit that its power line has been brought more you know in line with everything else an interactive that we're sort of just not in the league of what snake eyes and you bell you bell i actually think got off pretty easy with speaking of i promise it's not pre-watched just having like one of its consistency cards hit that's kind of 
of it. Like every other deck, I it's feel not like even a consistency card. It's a searchable piece and so, of its setup combo. While those combo. decks are probably still going to be at the forefront of the competitive metagame, I still think that there mm. are some like tier two ish. It's tier a forcing appropriate ratios hit. Certainly indirectly not. Indirectly get boosted because not now that. a lot of these cards that were sort of prohibiting those decks from being playable because Snake Eyes was just such a dominant deck and there was really not much that could contest it. <laughs> I think now we're going to see, ideally, ideally a much healthier game that people are going to be happy to return to after all this time. But I think I want to just wrap this video that. up by kind of just discussing my overall thoughts and like how the communication with Konami is being handled with this because I think the fact that it's 2024, this game is as old as Limiting it is now. Limiting it is like one we, less summon, I think right? these players It means you can't better. search it off the DBB activation, right? The fact that we still do not right? have set Which is like a card that, that you could otherwise is going use. To happen. There needs to be broader lines of communication from Konami when it comes to this stuff. And there probably won't. I'm probably just screaming into the ether here, hoping things are going to change. Like I have been for the past 10 years on my YouTube channel. But... Come on, like we need to and get then you with can it, send it to the, the graveyard whole, for All of the on. drama that has surrounded this, and I'm not going to get into the drama. Both sides are equally at fault here, and I genuinely think none of both sides, the horse side and Konami, of this had to happen in the way that it did. If we actually just had genuine communication from the company for the game that we're all obsessed with, and there were like, many, it, really many bad hard. people, I assume, on both sides. So, guys, that's my banless reaction. I really hope you all enjoy. Thank you so much for watching. I'd love to hear your thoughts down in the comments. Even though, like I said, I'm kind of like out of the competitive loop as much as I used to be. Um, my reaction wasn't as crazy because it, you know, getting it in the Twitter format isn't as like fun yeah. but it is what it is so guys thank you so much for watching we'll see you next time thank you to shadow1317 this list is the epitome of more than i expected less than i hoped true